Welcome back to County Connection. For our final segment of this January episode, we are talking about the 50 plus winter games. And here we have a crew from the Community and Senior Center. We have the center manager, Lori Williams. Hello, Julie. And representatives from Summit Seniors, Barb Becker and Don Gerstein. Welcome, Hi. Hello, Barb Julie. and Don. Hi. All right, so the 50 plus winter games is coming up. Uh, what is this uh, event for folks who may not know about it? This is a three-day event. It's um, a fun event for seniors, 50 plus. Used to be called the Senior Olympics and was changed to 50 plus when the 50-year-olds didn't like being called seniors. Okay. So it's now the 50 plus <laughs> winter games. We have an opening dinner on Sunday. We have alpine and skating events on Monday and Nordic events on Tuesday. And then we have a huge award ceremony which um, people receive gold, silver, and medal, um, or gold, silver, and bronze medals. And they're great for grandkids, the medals. They okay. love them. <laughs> <laughs> and probably the grandparents, too. If you and the grandparents, like. too, yes. <laughs> um, it's February 11th, 12th, and 13th, 2018. This is the 38th anniversary of oh, wow. the Winter Games. 38 years this has been going yes. on. All right. And so uh, has it always been in Summit County? No. <laughs> it actually started uh, in Colorado Springs at the Broadmoor, at the, the um, ski area there, which has been closed. But since then, it's been in Summit County. So yes, it's, it's a Summit County event. All right. Um, so Don, can you, um, Barb kind of gave us a broad overview, but can you break down a little bit more for us the various events and then how it works out? Are there age groups and mm -hmm. where does all this take place? Yes. Uh, well, the opening dinner is on Sunday, February 11th at the Summit County Senior Center. Uh, we usually have some kind of pasta meal. Uh, kind of carbo load for the coming two days. On uh, the 12th, which is Monday, uh, are the Alpine and the skating events, which take place at Keystone. Okay. On Dersha Mountain, there's a solemn race and a rally race up on the race area there. Um, What's on, a rally race? Could you? The, the rally race is like a car rally. Somebody uh, runs the course sets a time and it's usually slower than you would normally ski and the person who skis that course closest to that time is the gold medal winner. Oh, okay. So it's a little bit di different than running the regular gates. Okay. Um, so it, some, it might even be like the opposite of a race. Yes. <laughs> it, the, the idea is to, um, to ski exactly the same time as the person who set the time and it normally is slower okay if, if the normal race uh takes 30 seconds it's probably between 35 and 40 seconds okay so it is slower all right okay. so back to you Don. okay and then at the base by a uh, mountain house we have what's an obstacle course which you do on skis as well uh, also at Keystone that day, we have ice skating events, which include figure skating, speed skating, <laughs> and uh, a, a hockey shoot okay. as well, which you don't need your skates for. Um, right. And that's pretty much sums up day, the Monday of it. On Tuesday, we move over to the Nordic Center at the Fr Frisco Adventure Park, and we have Nordic events, we have a biathlon, we have snowshoeing cross-country skiing, snowshoe throwing, and am I missing anything else? Snowball or? throwing. Snowball throwing. Okay. I said snowshoe throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Snowballs. Okay. Oh, watch out. Great. Okay. So a wide variety of yes. events. Mm -hmm. and, and then that afternoon, we have our award ceremony back at the Senior Center. Uh, there's usually some refreshments, and everybody who's won an award, which is most people, win an award either a gold, silver, or bronze medal are, are given their awards. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Um, so this is not only about the friendly competition in the great outdoors, but it also serves as a fundraiser um, <laughs> that funds several programs. Uh, Lori, talk to us about the programs that benefit from this event. So Meals on Wheels benefits um, all, all of our nutrition programs, the Monday night dinner, the Tuesday, Thursday lunches at the center also um, are represented, uh, medical transportation, and then indoor and outdoor activities also get some funding from the Senior Winter Games. And last year they made what, 14,500, 14, something like so, that? So, yeah, that's the highest ever. Yes. So, every year it increases. Mm -hmm. We have great sponsors in Summit County. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Everybody comes out because it's a great event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great. And for, uh, Organizations or businesses who might want to sponsor and haven't in the past, how would they go about doing that? They can. We contact a lot of them, but, mm -hmm. but they're welcome to contact um, the Frisco Senior and Community Center, and they can can direct them to the correct person. We take uh, monetary donations. We also take in-kind donations, so we get a lot of uh, donations, items donated, and then we have a silent auction. And we raise a lot of funds through the silent auction. Things like um, there's a, a couple of ski or uh, golf areas that donate 18 whole golf um, days for four people plus a cart, for example. And we put that in the silent auction and it, and it really raises a lot of money. Great. So it's great. Awesome. So there, and I, I, I was telling Barb last count there was over 250 sponsors mm -hmm. of some kind. Oh for the wow! Mm -hmm. games. And yes. a lot of them mm -hmm. are locals. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And, and another thing, even if you're not an athlete, you can participate in the senior games by participating in the silent auction as well. And the dinner. And the dinner. And the, dinner. And the, dinner. And the snowball toss. And the hockey shoot. Right. You don't have to ski. You don't have to skate. You. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, people who have ski injuries. Uh huh. Can participate, <laughs> can, Thanks, participate, can participate in things like that, the snowball toss and the, the hockey shoot. Because All right. They, so we'll see Lori out on the ice, maybe? <laughs> with the hockey shoot. One-handed yeah. hockey shoot. OK. Yeah. Um, so Don, you have participated in the, in the excuse me, the 50-plus Winter Games uh, for a number of years. Mm -hmm. What is the highlight for you? Well, that's a tough question. I, I mean, all the events are fun, uh, you know, and you're getting your exercise, you're out in the air, uh, and the award ceremony is kind of a fun time to just to get together and talk about things, see people who you were on the mountain with. And of course, if you're on the mountain and they have the goggles and the helmet on, you actually get to see what they actually look like there too. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. How about you, Barb? Um, well, I'm a competitor. I like any kind of competition. So uh -huh. I, I definitely like the alpine races. Um, but I also do the snowball toss and the hockey shoot just because they're fun. But it's really great to meet the people that you're competing with uh, at the dinner and at the awards ceremony. So it's a great way to um, meet new people and find people to ski with All right. or participate with. Great. Um, so for people who are interested in signing up uh, to participate, how would, uh, they, where would they find the information they need? They can find it. <laughs> they can, the, they can either call the center at 970-668-2940 yeah. or there's two websites now. The seniors have their own website and that is uh, Summit Seniors Center, summitseniorcenter.com. And then there's also the Summit County government one, which is www.summitcountyco.gov forward slash seniors, and they can find some information there as well. All right. We do have some exciting news with those websites this year. They will be able to enroll and pay online mm -hmm. oh, this year, starting January 1st. Excellent. Which will be great. They've always had to send in their application form um, and send in their, or come in and, and register but they can do it online now. And the other fun thing that we have are two race clinics at the Alpine, um, the Keystone Alpine event and at Breckenridge on Tuesday, February 2nd? February 6th. 6th. February 6th, Tuesday, February 6th, there's a race clinic at Breckenridge, February 8th on Thursday, there will be a, or a race clinic at Keystone 
they must be a registered participant in order to take advantage of the race clinic. Okay. But we have a racer who has raced competitively since he was in high school who is running the race clinics. So uh, they'll get some good instruction on how to run the gates if they've never run the gates mm -hmm. before. Okay. And, and, That's and, great. and for the events at Keystone on the mountain, if you don't have a pass, you can get a discounted lift ticket for Keystone for that day. Yes. Yeah, okay, good to for know. For the race well. day. Not, mm -hmm. not for the not for the clinics, but for the race day. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, great. Well, thanks to all of you for coming in. And, and actually, welcome. before we sign off here, um, Barb, I'd like to just recognize your Winter Games attire here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you want to see the backside? Oh, sure. Backside Be is careful. great. It has all the events on the back. Fantastic. And your lovely earrings that your daughter Thank you. made. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, they're to go with the with the T-shirt. Mm -hmm. Yes, for the games. A lovely yes. ensemble. Yes. Very yes. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks to those of you at home who've joined us for another episode of County Connection. We'll look forward to seeing you next month.